Putin, like any dictator, wants to die in power, how the hell is he going to die in power? He's going to create a war to distract Russians and tighten his grip and consolidate his power. That way, average Russians will be distracted by his war. And they're not going to notice how he's robbed them of of all sorts of rights and a future. When uh, when you see these videos of the recruitment officers going to these extremely poor villages across Russia, especially especially in the ethnic uh, republics like Dagestan, and saying to them, "Come on, you got to fight for the future. Sign up now." There's one video with it where a Dagestani man says to the recruitment officer, "Why should I fight for the future when I have no present?" Mm-hmm. So Putin's trying to distract Russians from the fact that they have no present and therefore no future by unleashing this big old war. And that gives them all sorts of excuses to destroy the shreds of whatever was left of independent press, media, journalism inside Russia, foreign press, martial law, whatever the hell he wants. He can do it now because he has this war as an excuse. So, yes, there's been all sorts of chatter that the Russians are getting advice from aliens, that Russians are following this new world, new age philosophy that's, that has ancient roots, this, that, and the other, um, that Putin is driven by the founder of fascism himself. You know, there's all of this discussion. And but and certainly Putin is a history nerd, just like anybody. And that's sort of the joke about him is that he spent too much time in COVID isolation and he read too many zany alternative view history books that he's gone off the deep end and he's trying to bring back uh, Soviet empire glory. Certainly there's absolutely elements of that, that he does and has had this long-term view of bringing back the Soviet Union and that everything he's done has been leading to this point. Yeah, absolutely truth in, in, in that. But but first and foremost, Putin is about Putin. And that's all that this war, this genocide is about. I'm not thrilled with the prospect of voting for Trudy, but I'm going to do it because she is running against Eric Schmidt, uh, who is a demon lawsuit addict, Holly wannabe, which is just like a really embarrassing and shameful and frightening category. So yes, of course, I'm going to vote for Trudy Bush Valentine. I, of course, am not going to give Trudy Bush Valentine any money because she is a billionaire heiress. She is the heir to the Budweiser fortune. And that is how she got the nomination because that's how, uh, you know, money works in the American political system. Um, she does need to be educated on Citizens United and other issues. I am glad that she is for reproductive rights. I'm also glad she actually does seem to be fairly knowledgeable or at least listening to constituents about issues like um, foreign ownership of Missouri land, particularly farmland. Um, the fact that you know the Chinese and, and others have been uh, taking over that land is actually dangerous on a national security level. Uh, she's been looking to some other threats as well. She would be a vastly superior senator to Eric Schmidt, but yeah, I mean, it's like... It is slim pickings. It is just uh, yeesh. Anyway, I'll end it there. (laughs) Vote, everybody.